businesses, Black Friday, Cyber Monday is typically for most most e-commerce businesses, the biggest spike of traffic and sales that you're going to have for the majority of the industries. Um, with a pandemic, this is going to be probably the craziest Black Friday. Like we started selling this product out of the trunk of our car. Don't be afraid to fail. Inventory management is about balance. Get the product out, that's number one. I've always preached sustainable growth. So we just started building community. Look at the data. Product development is everything. Yeah, we say we're a brick, click, and pop. But you have to love what you do. First up, uh, I'm going to give the floor to Marco. So Marco, as Scott mentioned, is from Privy. And uh, Privy is an app that we've worked with a lot. We can use it with a lot of our clients. It's one of our favorite, favorite apps to use. Um, and Marco, they were actually one of the sponsors of our, what was supposed to be our West Coast Shopify meetup tour. So they were sponsoring the LA portion, which unfortunately didn't happen. So we pivoted to vir doing these virtually and Marco and Lizzie actually jumped on board with us and did our first virtual one where we had no idea how that was going to go, but uh, it went really well. And um, I'm happy to bring you guys back because I think you guys are going to have some really good info here for um, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So Marco, I'll, uh, I'll give the floor to you. Awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, can you guys hear me okay? It's my first time speaking today on the webinar. All right, awesome. Yeah, sounds good. Cool, beautiful. So yeah, let's just dive in. I, what do I have, 15 minutes or so? Yeah, 15 minutes. I, I mean, I'm right, really cool. impressed with how on time we are. As Cassandra said, I, I don't think this is like as on time as we've ever been, so. Perfect, all right, well, I'll try not to mess it up. Um, thank you guys again for having us, uh, always love hanging out with the socialite team and, uh, yeah, just sharing some knowledge. So I'm just going to get super tactical with it. Uh, I like to give actionable tips, um, rather than staying high level and, you know, hopefully people can walk away from this and, you know, go implement one or two things and, and see some results. So today I just want to talk about like three tips, three tactics that's going to help you sell like crazy, uh, for the Black Friday, Cyber Monday that we're coming up against. Uh, without spending any more on traffic. That's the domain of Scott and the Socialite team. Uh, I'm just talking about how do we really optimize what's there and how do we work with what you have without having to try and invest, you know, dollars and other things and test new things and really just focus on your site, optimize what's there and, you know, just drive sales. So the three things that I like to focus on, uh, and I'll talk about a few features from Privy. That's where I work. And that's uh, really what I do on a day-to-day -day basis is work with agencies like Socialite just to help them maximize the tool, maximize sales. Uh, first is going to be driving sales from your existing traffic. And that's by focusing on email capture. So really improving your email capture rate, your signup rate. Uh, two is increasing average order value by something called cross-selling. And three is improving your conversion rate, uh, the amount of sales you drive from the traffic you have with something, uh, free shipping bars, which is a new feature within Privy that I wanna share. So before I get into that, setting the stage, as everyone knows, Black Friday, Cyber Monday is typically for most, most e-commerce businesses, the biggest spike of traffic and sales that you're gonna have for the majority of the industries. Um, with a pandemic, this is going to be probably the craziest Black Friday, Cyber Monday ever. I would hope that not too many people are gonna go shopping like they normally do, busting down doors and getting into fights over big screen TVs. So expect a lot of people at home shopping safely. Um, but while that means a lot more traffic and a lot more sales, it's probably also going to be quite challenging from some other perspectives, like probably the cost of ads and things like that. And so competing with a lot more vendors and merchants and people, you know, who have retail stores or going online is going to be a lot more challenging than before. So you're going to need experts in your corner like Socialite. But if you're going to take that on yourself, my recommendation is make sure you optimize your site before you go and test new channels and invest in all these new channels. And I'll give you a few tips on how to do that. So, and with that said, it's going to be a lot easier than you trying to figure something out yourself and trying to throw money at something, uh, you know, kind of last minute. So I work at Privy. Privy is the number one sales app for Shopify. We have over 24,000 reviews on the Shopify app store, over 18,000 five-star reviews. Uh, you can go check us out. If you haven't tried us yet, every new install gets a two-week free trial. And you can uh, check out any one of our products. We have three products. Privy Convert, which is for pop-ups and displays to capture emails. Privy Email, so obviously email the signups that you get. 
And we also have Privy Text as well to start your SMS channel if you'd like to do that. Uh, I'm gonna focus on Privy Convert for the portion today. So let's just dive in. So number one, driving more sales from your existing traffic by maximizing your email signups. Um, I love metrics, I love data, and the best way to get this across in my opinion, or at least in my brain, is to start to quantify what is, you know, how is getting more emails gonna actually improve my sales? Well, so we've crunched some numbers and we found that the average value of an email address is about $16. So if you could just put a little bit of work, put a couple hours into actually capturing more emails, what is that gonna do for your top line revenue? If you capture 200 emails, that's $3,200 you did not have previously. So it's a nice easy way to say, all right, well look, if we spend a couple hours trying to improve that email capture rate, that sales we didn't have before, without spending any more money on traffic, on ads, things like that. So that's how I like to think about it. You work really hard to get that traffic to your site, to build your brand, to build your SEO and get that organic traffic. So let's make sure that nothing's slipping through the cracks, that there's no holes in the funnel, I like to say, and we plug those as best as we can to make the most of who's on your site and convert those people. So I'm using here uh, a ripped off image from Google. Uh, about the shopping funnel and what I typically see in a lot of e-commerce stores who haven't really put any time into optimizing their email funnel. So what you usually see is something very simple, not on brand. There's no exciting information. There's no call to action. It's just like, hey, throw your email here because someone told me that I should be capturing emails. And then that's at the top of the funnel, right? That's the first time you hit the site. It's within five or 10 seconds. That's the la like the least likely place someone's going to give you a contact information if it's the first time they're experiencing your brand, the first time they're seeing your products. Um, why would someone give you that contact information that's pretty personal if they don't really have anything that's interesting to them yet, right? So usually people just put that up, no one opts in, less than 1% opts in, pretty low conversion rate or sign up rate. And then the rest of the funnel where people actually spend their time looking at your products, looking at product pages, uh, actually adding something to your cart, it's crickets. There, there's no engagement. There's no communication with that person. People that are actually showing signs of intent of buying something and you're not talking to them, you're just leaving them. That's like if you had a retail store, every single person that walks in the door, you ask for their email address, they all say no. They're all adding things in their cart in your store and you're not talking to them and you're not focusing on them. And then they walk out and they leave their carts. And so I always focus on this funnel. How do we get lower in the funnel and actually engage with those users rather than just letting them do their own thing and fall off? And so a few, a few suggestions that I have and probably the most actionable one is towards the bottom there. One is create a compelling display, something that's on brand, it actually gives uh, someone a reason to pause and to read it and you know, interest them in what you have to say. Uh, that rate is going to increase a lot just with like a better design on brand, a better offer. You should see a five to 10% sign up rate on your welcome display. Now, what I think is the most important isn't necessarily the welcome display when you first hit a site, but it's actually further down in the funnel once someone actually adds a product to their cart. About 70% of traffic uh, on your site is gonna add something to their cart, but if your conversion rate's only 2%, then that's a huge chunk of people that are adding products to their cart, but they're not actually buying. So we wanna focus on those guys and we wanna ask them for an email if they haven't already given it to us. With Privy, we do that by targeting cart value. So we say if anyone has more than $1 in the cart and they have not signed up yet, and they're about to leave, show an exit intent display that says, hey, wait, don't go, sign up, and we'll give you some offer. We'll give you 20% off your order, or we'll give you free shipping, or something like that. And when you focus on that small cohort, it's actually a decent-sized cohort, right at the bottom of that funnel, that conversion rate is actually going to be much higher, that sign-up rate, because those are people who have been through the site, they've seen your products, they understand your brand, they're showing intent by adding a product to their cart, Maybe they're not ready to buy right now. That's okay. They're probably ready to give you an email address. Let's get that email and let's plug it into Privy. Let's plug it into something else like a Clavio uh, or a Drip or what have you. And let's start to build a relationship and nurture them and convert them via email. So that's a super easy tactical way. 
you improve that sign up display and you actually add an exit exit intent display based on cart value, you're going to capture a significant amount of emails. Probably, I would guess, three to five times more emails than you're getting right now, at least. And so um, the average documented online shopping abandon rate is about 69%. So if you think about that, 70% of your traffic is actually adding products to their cart. Let's focus on that and let's try and reduce that from 70% um, who abandoned to 50% or something like that. And in Privy, this is how you do it. Really easy. It's about 10 clicks to create this. You create a display, you add an email form, you make sure it's targeted to the right device, you make sure it's gonna trigger on exit intent, you add a cart value, you make sure it's targeted to a device again, and you make sure that no one signed up. That simple, you have it set up, you work on the design for a few minutes and boom, you have an exit intent, what we call a cart saver. So uh, moving on to the second uh, piece of this is increasing your average order value uh, with cross-selling. Cross-selling, uh, I would say the easiest way to relate to it is McDonald's or any type of you know, restaurant that actually asks if you want something in addition to what you're ordering. So the famous one with McDonald's is, would you like fries with that? It is some, they're offering you something that pairs well with what you already are about to order. Burger and fries, obviously socks with your boots, makeup wipes with your makeup, um, t-shirt with your shorts. How do you get in the mind of the consumer and offer them something that they would find valuable, something that they would like to pair with already is in their cart? And let's, let's create one of those uh, on your site with Privy. So uh, same brand I'm using, Urban Skin RX. I think they have an amazing strategy, so you'll see their screenshots all over this. You hit their site, boom, they give you an offer for a welcome display. Whether you engage with it or not, it doesn't matter. What they do as you move further down the funnel, when you're in that interest, that consideration and that intent phase, you, I add a product to my cart, they're gonna say, hey, with that makeup, why don't you add these makeup wipes for five bucks? Complimentary cross-sell, boom. Now if, let's say, even 10%, of all the purchases at a $5 uh, you know, cross sell to their cart, that's a, lot of, that's a lot of sales you didn't have before. If we can increase that average order value for your store, 5%, 10%, that's just top line revenue without spending any more again on ads, on any fancy tools, what have you, everything's here within Privy. Um, if you are not buying makeup, for example, and you're just buying anything on their site and you do not have that lip treatment in your cart, they're gonna recommend you buy that just for a few dollars. So again, whether it's something complimentary or just like an easy impulse you know, add-on, like you are at the register, you're about to check out at the grocery store, you see a pack of gum, you see a Kit Kat, whatever, that's the same type of idea. How do you just give someone something super easy, low price, impulse buy, just to quickly add to their cart and boom. And you're gonna increase your average order value significantly. With Privy, uh, super easy to set up. You can do it really anywhere on the site. You can do it on a product page. You can do it in the cart, wherever you want it. This is an example of someone doing it in the cart. So basically they're just saying, hey, this person does not have a hat in their cart. Why don't we show it to them? Simple as that. And that's $25 on that order that may not have been there previously. Super easy, again, probably 10 clicks or less to set it up. You're not even adding an email field here. You're just putting a button. You're putting a, a picture of the product. And on Privy, you can actually select from your Shopify catalog what product you want to be on that Add to Cart button, and it's going to seamlessly add it right there. And then third, uh, improving your conversion rate with free shipping bars. This is a really interesting uh, play that I think a ton of merchants use in some capacity. Uh, what's cool is we just launched a dynamic bar, so it actually shows you a counter of how many more dollars until you achieve that threshold. Uh, so a few interesting tid tidbits I wanted to pull into this. Uh, shipping and handling costs are responsible for 52% of all abandonment online. That's pretty crazy. And 60% of retailers cite free shipping as their most successful marketing tool. This is David Bell. He's a professor at UPenn, uh, I believe over here in Philly where I'm from. And those are just amazing statistics to think about. So two perspectives. One is removing objections and the other is uh, well, it's the opposite. It's not about an objection, but it's a marketing tactic to try and improve uh, sales. So you can look at it either way. Are you trying to, you know, 
give a message of, hey, let's, let's get in front of this before somebody actually sees what the costs are going to be and abandon, uh, or let's use this as a play to differentiate ourselves from other people in the space, possibly. So at Privy, super easy. Uh, if you see at the top there, this is going to, once this refreshes here, you will see that it's going to start as a normal bar that says, hey, free shipping at $50. Once you add a product to your cart, this is a $35 product. It says, hey, you have $15 left. You had another product. You made it. Shipping's on us. Click this button to check out. Really seamless. The communication is key here. The sticky bar is really important too. How do you make something persistent? Uh, something that's always going to be in front of the user no matter where they are. A lot of people put it on a pop-up, for example, when they hit the site, but then that user forgets it's there. Uh, or they maybe they put it in the cart page, but maybe somebody never makes it to the cart page. So putting it on a persistent banner or sticky banner, I think is a really important way to communicate that value. Um, and something that pretty much everyone's thinking about all the time. We're in the world of Amazon where a lot of people are used to that two-day shipping. So let's, let's give it to them um, really quickly and easily. And here's how you set it up. Super simple. And that's it. Three super easy tactics going to take you a few minutes each, increase your email signups to drive sales, increase average order value with cross sales, improve your conversion rates with free shipping bar. You guys can set all this up in a day with Privy. And if you're looking for any more tips, any more information, uh, we have a lot of amazing content on the site. We have a podcast where we put episodes just about every day, interviews with experts, our CEOs that was uh, giving five minute episode tips too, uh, really actionable and insightful. And uh, last thing I'm going to mention, and I'm just out of time here, we are, this is a, I'm not really supposed to say this, we're launching it next week, but we're dropping a Black Friday, Cyber Monday physical book, actually, in the fall. Uh, this is something that anybody can actually have, buy, own, feel it, touch it, and reference it. Um, Shopify COO Harley Finkelstein actually wrote the foreword for it, and we have 15 e-commerce experts that we interviewed to write all the content. So it's going to be pretty amazing. If you're interested, privy.com slash join. You can get information and all the announcements and everything like that. And uh, that's it for me. So if anyone has any questions, let me know, or you can always reach out to me at marco at privy.com. Thanks, Marco. I, I hope we get a signed copy of that book when it comes out so we can keep <laughs> it on our book stand in the office. All right. Um, that's, uh, I, I can set that up. No problem. <laughs> I like that. I was just going to say, I like the, the language in that free shipping wire as well. Like there's a bit of a psychological shift when you say like shipping's on us versus, you know, just free shipping. It almost is, I think in the customer's mind kind of causes a little bit of a psychological shift of, oh, they're paying for the shipping. Um, totally. Yeah. Oh yeah. The, the way you just make the little copy adjustments has such a huge psychological impact. So I always recommend like Try, try out different things with any of your displays, whether it's a free shipping bar or a, you know, email sign up, whatever you have. Totally. Um, I hey, uh, sorry. Yeah. I just want to hijack really quickly and I'm going to hop back out of here, but Marco, you, you weren't here yet. I was looking around and I was like, is Marco here? Am I going to tell his, his famous story for him? But I was telling the story about the, the, the agency you work with who works for the merch companies and how they had just like the $5 sticker add-ons when it's just yeah. like this impulse buy that just makes sense and they're in everybody's increasing their cart value by like five bucks at a time I thought that was yeah brilliant. They, they sold a thousand stickers in a month and before that they they sold maybe like a few dozen over the the course of a year so now they're actually printing more stickers just for that cross sell because it's it's so effective and you know if they can increase the majority of their sales by five bucks like that's huge for them that's five thousand dollars extra right a thousand yeah. stickers now great uh, I just see one question here from Antoine and uh, they're asking the exit pop-up works only on desktop right uh, mobile as well actually uh, for privy it works uh, it's a little bit different between iOS and Android but basically if you're hitting the back button or like a new tab or, or something like that on mobile it'll trigger an exit in 10 as well awesome all right well thank you so much Marco I'll have you if you can yeah. stick around if there's any because people are kind of digesting everything if more questions trickle in we can address that kind of at the end perfect i'll do my best i have a baby that's going to sleep in like 30 minutes so i'll do my best it's all, it's all good thanks so much marco yeah of course thanks for having me